Hi guys, so I recently learned about the case of Julius Jones and if you don't know, he's 19, he was wrongfully convicted of murder and has been living in solitary confinement on death row and is set to be executed in roughly 113 days. I could be wrong. Um, and I wanted to talk about it for those of you that might not know um but please go to justiceforjuliusjones.com there are calls to action letter templates and there's a documentary explaining everything as to why he is innocent and i just i wanted to come on here and talk about it so i'm gonna be looking at my computer screen because i don't want to get anything wrong that i'm saying um when he was 19, he was convicted of a murder that he says he did not commit, and there's plenty of evidence to to back that. Um, he's lived on death row for almost 20 years and is held in solitary confinement for 24 hours a day, and for that remaining hour, he gets an hour of sunlight, and he's allowed three showers a week. Um, at the time of the crime for which he was convicted, Julius was a 19-year-old student athlete attending the University of Oklahoma on an academic scholarship. It was clear that his lawyer did not adequately defend him and that explicit racial bias played a significant role in the process. Um, eyewitnesses placed Mr. Jones at his parents' home at the time of the murder, miles away from the crime scene, and his parents were ready to take the stand and be witnesses for him to say that he was home, but they weren't even called to testify. His co-defendant admitted to being involved in the crime and is now free after testifying against Julius. He was heard bragging that he set Julius up. His co-defendant matches the only eyewitness description of the shooter based on the length of his hair. Newly discovered evidence shows that at least one juror harbored racial prejudice that influenced his vote to convict and sentenced Mr. Jones to death. One juror reported telling the judge about another juror who said that the trial was a waste of time and they should take the racial slur out and shoot him behind the jail. Um, and more about his co-defendant. His co-defendant fit the only eyewitness description of the shooter. While Mr. Jones did not, his co-defendant was the state's key witness against him, and the prosecution repeatedly told jurors at Mr. Jones's trial that his co-defendant would serve a 30-year sentence in exchange for his testimony. However, after pleading guilty to the crime, Mr. Jones's co-defendant was released after only 15 years and is now a free man. The uh, police officer's use of a racial slur during Mr. Jones' arrest and the state's removal of all prospective black jurors except one evidence shows that a juror used the n-word before jury deliberations at the sentencing phase and there is some more evidence that i learned through a podcast called wrongful conviction and julius jones's attorney passed away right before the trial and his defense team decided to just not defend him despite all of the evidence they had to back his case to prove that he was innocent. Please visit justiceforjuliusjones.com. Um, it explains everything. There's a whole documentary that you can watch on it. Um, there is a letter template that you can send to the governor, I believe it is, of Oklahoma. And there is also a call to action letter for that you can send to the pardon and parole board. Um, he does not deserve to be executed. He should not be executed. And there are so many other wrongful convictions of black people that are in the same position as Julius Jones. And if there's anything else that I can do regarding this that I might not know of, please let me know. Um, yeah, I just, I wanted to share this and this, he is just, Julius is not the only case like this. There are so many others and it's fucked up, um, but yeah. Um, please go to justiceforjuliusjones.com um, and yeah